da 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 but what they've got is Raheem Sterling, uh, pretty much sold the show in the first half, unstoppable, uh, really playing on the left hand side, may have found his position, Sterling on the left, uh, Hazard on the right, absolutely unstoppable, uh, now Robertson did a fantastic job on Hazard, but they couldn't stop uh, Raheem, tore Trent Alexander-Arnold, a new one. Um, but as time went on, Kevin De Bruyne took ownership of that midfield, really came into his own, drove the team forward and created a really dominant possession. Yet again, what, what Bohemians were able to do was convert their smaller amount of possession into better chances. Now, Kevin De Bruyne was of course substituted in a bold move by uh, Schemi, uh, who I think we can all agree made some odd tactical decisions over the course of that game. However, they seem to work. Mane finally unleashed uh, by the new tactical shape meant that uh, the cross came in from the right hand side. Mane got in, headed in, wonder, wonder goal, yay, equaliser, went into extra time. Again, um, Leeds dominated possession, Bohemians dominated chances, and uh, the final whistle went. Uh, went to penalties, Don Ruma, one of the star signings of Phil Ball so far. Yet, I mean, he's played three penalty shootouts and two of those penalty shootouts has yet to concede a goal. And they're the most recent two penalty shootouts. Really found his form. With that being said, if uh, Bohemians, as expected, their best bet is really to get into the playoffs. If they get into the playoffs and hold it to a nil or draw, you're looking at probably the best goalkeeper you could possibly want in that uh, position. Leeds, on the other hand, uh, another opportunity missed for Wackers to get a trophy um, and and that's going that must be playing on their mind but there is another opportunity for them and that is in the league so in the league Champions League of course we'll start with them and um, it's going to be Lazio playing Leeds and uh, the, these are two teams who have it's real mind games between those two Leeds of course have eight points they're top their uh, the result is in their hands a draw is uh, it, a draw is almost enough to guarantee them victory if um, if they draw and that means that Dortmund have to score more than three goals in a game uh, Dortmund who of course have scored um, one goal this season so it's unlikely that they're going to be able to do that um, but Leeds have uh, the game is in the title is in their hands uh, all they need really is a draw uh, to lock it down completely a win will guarantee them title uh, promotion and if they don't if they lose that game and uh, Dortmund and uh, that will put Lazio and Dortmund above them and will mean that they will be in either playoffs or um, more realistically they will be in uh, the yeah, well, no, the playoffs, is, the relegation playoffs is where they're almost certainly going to be if they don't win. Um, but they do have Neymar and they do have De Bruyne. De Bruyne, of course, up against a Lazio team uh, who he really shone for. Uh, but that Lazio team will really trade with De Bruyne for Jamie Vardy, a player who has was pretty disappointing. They've got Vardy, they've got Lukaku, they've got Mertens, they've got Timo Werner. They have attacking options centrally who could damage the best defence in football. But, well, arguably the best defensive field ball. Um, they have conceded more goals than um, either Dortmund or Lazio so far in the campaign, oddly enough. Um, but in cups and all that. So anyway, um, but though, yeah, so Vardy will be playing, Lukaku, uh, it's really going to be a battle between the two best midfielders in field ball, Kante and the Bruyne. So if the Bruyne can step up, play well, dominate, you fancy them, but will he be able to dominate against his old teammate, 
can't they? I don't know. Casemiro as well may feature. We're not 100% sure what the tactics are going to be. We haven't got to see the team sheets yet. The other team, the other game in that group is, of course, Bohemians, who are currently bottom and favourites to be relegated, but will be buoyed by that cup final win. Um, if Bohemians play uh, with the sort of form and uh, with the sort of energy that we know that they can play and with Sterling on that left hand side you have to wonder are they going to be able to um, be stopped by Dorm Dortmund who of course came into season favourites um, everything seems to have gone against them uh, as far as they're through the transfer windows They but they have signed Kyle Walker I mean, it'll be Kyle Walker, likely against Sterling. Uh, Kyle Walker, of course, was one of the better players in the field ball last year um, without actually really impacting anything. But what he can do um, is run real quick. And that is something that Sterling also can do. So it's a case of if Walker goes around and gets too far ahead of play, then uh, you've got the best counter-attacking player in field ball in Ryan Sterling. And on the other side, you've got um, Alba against uh, the equally pacey and, uh, and dangerous hazards. So those two, yet again, are going to be the key areas uh, defensively. On the other side of the pitch, you've got uh, real pace up front. You've got but that midfield Pogba, you know, Dortmund midfield Pogba, Coutinho, um, they're, they're class players and it's really going to be difficult for anybody to stop them. Uh, Pogba, who tends to grow into games as they go on and tries to take hold of them, and then you've got Sané, you've got Sancho, you've got real speed out wide. Lewandowski has been very disappointing so far. You compare him with somebody like Kane, who is pretty much similar in many aspects to the... So the two players are quite similar, but uh, Lewandowski has yet to really impact um, in the same way. Speaking of Harry Kane, we're going to go down to his league. And that is... So in the Europa League, um, you're looking at... Harry Kane, uh, Harry Kane's call are going to be playing against, uh, so it's going to be Colon, Colon versus Ass in many ways, um, with Son and Kane um, facing off each other. The two, two of the more dangerous attackers in the football. You've also got Mbappe, you've also got Messi, you've got Matuidi, you've got uh, Gay. There's a lot of real strength, depth, uh, aggression all across those two midfields. Uh, those front forwards, exciting, blistering attackers. Um, at the minute, uh, I think Saint Etienne are the favourites to go up, the favourites to win promotion. Cologne are ahead of, uh, I think, MK Dons on goal scored. Um, so that that's fairly malleable. Uh, if everything ended the same, it'd be, these are the two teams that would be in uh, one promotion. One uh, Saint Etienne would, would win on like promotion. And Colm would be um, probably in around the playoff role. Um, but it's, it, I mean, they're, it's fairly tight. Um, anything can happen, really. Uh, one of those teams has to, you would expect, would win. Uh, uh, I think it's Santa Etienne have scored six goals so far this season. Um, Colm also have scored six. Cologne, the difference being that Colm has conceded those six as well. So they're. They seem to be more prone to uh, counter-attack than most teams and there are very few teams that are going to counter-attack with the pace and aggression of a team like uh, uh, Team. Moving across to uh, the other game in the group, which is MK Dons against Sociedad. Sociedad, of course, is the only team who have yet to really um, really thrive in football. They haven't, uh, in Dombele has been good in the games that he's not don't matter. So in the preseason, he was excellent in the in the cup games last season. He was excellent, but in when the when, we, when the league started, he hasn't really shone in the way that you'd hope. And he's up against one of the best. I mean, the best squads in field ball, that MK Dong squad. Uh, they've been underperforming, but they've got Ronaldo, they've got Salah, they've got uh, Kovacic. They've got uh, Busquets. Uh, Busquets, of course, who shot a turn of pace that I don't think anybody expected from him in the previous uh, in previous rounds since the mid-season break. Um, but I think their, their issues, of course, going to be uh, getting the ball to their forwards who 
haven't really shown yet but have the potential to really tear teams apart uh, for Saucy that they need something to lift the spirits of the squad they are not scoring the goals that they should be scoring uh, Suarez of course came in big money signing is he going to be the one that, is he going to be the difference maker um, I think possibly if MK Dons lose that's them out that's their season over if MK Dons win there is a very strong chance that they could be in I mean if MK Dons win and uh, it's a draw MK Dons I think go it's a draw in the other game MK Dons are in the playoff are in the playoffs uh, unless they win by more than two goals and um, if it's uh, if Cologne win and MK Dons win then depending on results Cologne are top uh, again this is one of those where it's in Saint Etienne's hands but uh, those hands can have dropped the ball before so it's going to be interesting and um, I look forward to it the finale uh, the season finale is on f Saturday uh, afternoon and um, a lot of games to happen a lot of football to happen and um, yeah thanks for watching uh, get your teams in as early as you can really uh, ideally before Saturday and uh, we'll discuss when playoffs and the football super cup happen um afterwards so yeah thanks for thanks for watching and uh i'll leave you with uh, the highlights from the previous round round four five of football so thank you and uh, good night one two three come on We're gonna see some goals, goals, goals. It's gonna be some goals, goals, goals. And we're gonna see some goals, goals, goals. Goals, goals, goals. Let's all see some goals, goals, goals. Goals, goals, goals. Let's all see some goals, goals, goals. What time is it? It's goals o'clock. What time is it? It's goals o'clock. So goals, goals, goals. We're gonna see some goals, goals, goals. Yeah, goals, goals, goals. Can't wait to see some goals, goals, goals. Goals, 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 it's goals o'clock. Goals, 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 except for Ronaldo. Goals, 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 go